So I was looking into colleges and with how society or even teachers in the public school system talk to you, you need the college education to go anywhere. You need the college education to be anyone. So my young undeveloped brain is telling me if I want to be the best or have the best future, the best career, I should be striving for the best school. So that's why I applied and got into the Culinary Institute of America. Again, I'm 17 years old and I come from a family that struggled with money and it's not because of an income problem. It was a we don't know what we're doing problem on top of like shopping addictions and stuff. It was bad. Money was such a bad thing in my childhood growing up. And I'll be 100% honest. That's my MO, right? I'm the honest guy talking about my story. I didn't even know what the school cost for the year. And I'll be even more honest that I never saw the FAFSA paperwork. I think a lot of people had that experience. They have no idea how much they're going to pay before they sign. That's super common, I think. I always feel like I have to always defend myself. It's just the idea that as a 17-year-old, I should have known better. And to anyone who thinks that, it just blows my mind. Nowhere else in our society do we use that metric, except for student loans, interestingly enough. And it's always people who manage to dodge that. Well, I figured it out. And I said, yeah, but you were also 17. And where else do we allow bankruptcy exam things to be signed by 17-year-olds? Nowhere. Right. Or about mortgages. You can't be 17 and get a mortgage. So don't compare it to student loan debt. Or a business loan. Right. All of the above. Anyways, I never knew what the total cost would be. I had no idea what loans were being taken out, what the interest rate looked like. I wouldn't have even known what it meant unless anyone in my life sat me down and was like, do you see what this is going to cost? Do you you understand what compounding interest daily on an 8% interest loan looks like, all these things. No one said anything. So I go to college, I get my degree, I graduate a couple months before I'm 21. So I got a bachelor's degree really quick. It all happened so fast. A week before graduating, I get sat down by the financial aid office and they say, oh, congratulations, you're about to graduate. We're just letting you your student loan payment before any government assistance or income-driven repayment plans is $1,400 a month. Right in that moment, my entire life changed. And I knew it because again, people think ignorance is bliss. It was just in that moment where even though I didn't know the mess I was making, I knew right in the moment of being told, this is how much you owe and this is what your monthly payment was going to be. I did know what all of that meant in that moment. So it was a week before graduating, which should be the most exciting, happiest time of a college student's life because you just worked hard to accomplish this. And I remember being at graduation, sitting there being like, I think my life is over. It should be the most exciting moment. And I'm just sitting there being, I'm in this mess and you can't back out. We'll probably talk about it further down in this podcast, but it's like, why did no one at the beginning sit me down or sit the students down and say, are you aware what this is going to cost, what this interest looks like, what your total monthly payment's going to be every month. It's just so convenient, I feel, now as a fully developed adult, that it was all hush-hush quiet right until the end when you can't back out.